Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with a garden video. So it is the very, 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 very beginning of the season. It's honestly a little too cold still to plant most things, except for some perennials and cold hardy perennials or annuals in my zone. Um, it is early, early February, but perennials typically do okay. We are out of our window of most freezes. We usually only get one a year. Um, and our frosts, if we get any more this year, will be one or two. So anytime that that will happen in the next month or so, I will come out and cover anything that I plant with a nice blanket or a pot or something to keep it warm. I will put a video down below. I will link to how I do that. It, it's literally as simple as it sounds. But I saw these at the store. I could not pass them up. I found two, only two, Proven Winners Rock and Round Pop Star. These are sedums. Now, I have been looking for a sedum for a while, and while they are beautiful, I see them a lot on YouTube videos. And my mom, I know, used to grow them in Colorado. My grandfather had them at his home in Pennsylvania. My best friend said her mom has dozens of them at her home in Kansas. I don't see them that often in Alabama, which I don't quite understand because it's not like they're super, like they love the sun. They're almost a succulent. So it seems like they would like it down here, but for some reason, it's just not one that's super common. So when I saw these, I had to get them. We will see how they do in my garden. Um, they do like full sun. So I'm going to put them right here. These particular sedums, there's lots of different varieties are a ground cover variety. So they get eight to 10 inches tall and wide. They are mounding, but they will kind of, uh, you can see they're kind of trailing right now. These plants are uh, not in their prime, we shall say. <laughs> so we're going to plant them. We are gonna cut back the uh, more spent parts of the plant. And then in the spring, in a month or two, we will come around and um, I was gonna say fertilize them, but no, sedums don't like to be fertilized. They really, they thrive on neglect. They don't like a lot of water. They don't like fertilizer. They really like sun and to be left alone. Um, this portion of my yard, of my garden beds, uh, doesn't get as great drip as the parts closer to the house. And so I typically grow annuals in this spot. Last year I had zinnias here, they did great. Um, it is a full sun spot. So I am hoping they will do really well. They can spread really far if they're happy, 20 to 24 inches. So I am hoping that they will just kind of fill in the whole front of this border. And I don't know if you saw in the tag, they literally have it up against a border of pavers, the same pavers that I have here on the edge of my little retaining wall. So I was like, these are very, very common pavers, but that was a sign that I picked the perfect place. So we're going to go ahead and get these in the ground. I'm going to cut them back. Um, I'm probably not going to cut them back totally because they are still blooming and they do have some pretty seed heads on them. These were very obviously in a greenhouse to still be blooming this time of year. They typically bloom late summer through fall and winter. And it is, like I said, the beginning of February. So I'm going to let them go until they all look awful and then we may or may not need to cut them back to the ground this year um since they weren't a greenhouse they may do just fine we may need to cut them back down next year or we may need to cut them back down in a month or two if they completely go dormant before the end of the season so let's get them in the ground they'll all they're always high Ideally, they would have had three of these so that I could do one, two, and a third one at the bottom. But I typically do a, a petunia in that bottom round orb that spills very close to the edge of the walkway. So, you know, if I don't get one for down there, I'll live. But see them typically uh, grow, 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 and they need to be divided a lot if they're happy in their place. So I'm hoping that these will grow 
I could really probably divide them now, but I don't want to. And I can continue to divide them and put them around the garden. Over time. Still have room here for some zinnias or another annual. You could see my lambs here that comes in. It's a good ground cover, so hopefully the two will play nicely. so pretty uh, sometimes I just you know sometimes you just find the perfect plant for a spot I think this is the perfect plant for this spot So, let's see, where's my clippers? Come in and we're going to cut off anything that looks uh, weak or spindly on the ends here. I don't want to cut off everything, even though I could. Probably would be happier if I did. But. It still has pretty blooms, so I'm just going to ineffectively deadhead it. Sedums are not really supposed to need deadheading. All right, that portion is no longer attached. hate leaving leaves in the garden, but until it gets warm, warm, it is better for my plants, gives them a little bit of a mulch.
Oh, you can see new growth on this one. That's fun. Both on the branches and coming up out of the pot. a very good sign that this plant is still healthy he's just it's just on the struggle bus probably from being in his pot for so long I think that's good. Let's go ahead and dig this guy a spot. And I do have daisies. One, two, three here. Don't remember what type of daisies or if they're supposed to come back. And then I'm just going to plant this next to the daisy. I'm kind of doubting they'll come back because they seem to not like this spot last year. They were very pretty in the spring and then they struggled all summer. Even if they do come back, we'll probably move them somewhere else and let the sedum take over this area. to get this guy planted without messing up all the babies. I'm gonna pause for spring. There we go. I know this is a mounding plant, but it really is trailing a lot out of the pot. So I'm putting it pretty close to the pavers. If it starts growing into more of a mound and not trailing once it's in the ground, we can always adjust that in the future. But for now, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got my oak leaf hydrangea here. Oh, the lamb's ear, Alora pedlum, and then I usually have that bright pink Supertunia bubblegum right here. So 
This will just keep under planting along with the lambs ear. I will eventually have a very pretty ground cover under all these plants. Pink is so pretty. I really like these. I hope you guys really do too. Let me know if you have tried this type of sedum. They had a red and a yellow version as well, which were really pretty. The yellow version had a much more yellow chartreuse type of leaf. I also really want some tall sedum to go further back in the beds, but for now, I'm just happy to find these two. So I will see y'all in the next video and I hope you enjoyed my fun little sedum day today. I will give you guys a close up look now that they are planted.